Okay. So now let's move back to the power calculator. I'm going to show you the calculations. Um, when I wrote the article, we did the calculations for a, a Toyota Celica, which is a 2.2 liter engine. Four cylinders, 6200 RPM red line, and dual intake valves, yes, dual exhaust valves. I believe it's an uh, 88 millimeter bore, 92 millimeter stroke. Compression ratio is 9 to 1. Delivers 135 horsepower at about 5200 RPMs and 0 pounds of boost. And I would like to make 320 horsepower. Our target power goal in the article is 320 horsepower, so I'm going to use that here. Single throttle valve, single exhaust, and I'm going to use a twin charged. You see, I've added turbocharged and twin charged setup. I'm going to click on calculate. Then I don't want to change my engine dimensions. I don't need to raise my red line. And I'm still going to be using gasoline. Click next. Alright, let's see what we get here. I'm going to need two steps colder spark plugs. Uh, my static compression ratio is going to be okay. We're going to make this power at 14 pounds of boost because we're going to be using camshafts. In the original article, it said we're going to need about 20 pounds of boost to reach our power goal, but that's because I was using 135 horsepower at 5200 RPMs as my reference point. You can see here my expected bolt on power is 163 horsepower. And that's because what the power calculator is assuming is that I'm going to get the right camshafts that are recommended down here with 212 degrees of duration and 9.5 millimeter of lift for the intake side and 240 degrees of duration and, and about 8 millimeters of lift on the exhaust side. And these camshafts are going to help me move my peak power RPM up to 6200 RPMs. So the car is going to make about 663 horsepower instead of 135 with these modifications. And so I'm only going to need 14 pounds of boost to reach 320 horsepower rather than the original estimate of 20 pounds of boost. If I click next, go to my illustrations, and then here is a new twin charger screen. If you look at the first five chargers on this list, one, two, three, four, and five, these five are these five chargers are superchargers. Uh, what the power calculator does now is it chooses five roots or screw superchargers that are compatible with my application and then five turbochargers for my top end. These superchargers are going to give me the response that I need. These turbochargers are going to be able to flow the maximum demand of the engine to reach that power goal of 320 horsepower. All right. In the original article, we said uh, something like an Eaton M62 would work, as well as a T3, T04, uh, 46 trim. If I look at my results here, I'm getting an Eaton MP45, which is slightly smaller than the M62, because, again, we're using 14 pounds of boost here in this model instead of 20 pounds, so I can actually use an even smaller supercharger and save even more horsepower on the parasitic drag uh, on the uh, accessory belt by driving by wasting less power driving the charger. And then, since this has become a higher flow, lower boost application, so I'm making 320 horsepower at 14 pounds instead of 320 horsepower at 20 pounds of boost, it's recommending the T360 trim instead of the T04-54 trim. And if you look at, if you compare the two compressor maps on those turbochargers, you'll see that the 54 trim that I was using is a narrower, taller compressor map. It does better for that engines don't flow as well, which will need higher boost levels at lower flow levels, whereas the T360 trim is more of a wider compressor map that will give you more flow at a lower boost level. And so just changing that dynamic, you see, it would have taken me another hour to crunch these numbers, factoring in the camshaft swap that the power calculator just did, but we just did it in three minutes. I mean, that's all it takes. You just put in your numbers. You do your calculations, it'll give you the results that you need. Um, let's say I wanted to do something crazy and try to compare the numbers exactly as they were in the article. 
I'm going to change my red line here down to 5200. All right, this is going to prevent the power calculator from recommending camshafts for me. It's going to use the same original 135 horsepower, and it's, this is what it says. It says we're going to need 19 pounds of boost, which is very close to the 20 that I calculated. Um, obviously, we're going to need more conservative camshafts because we're shooting for a lower RPM level. And then if I look at the chargers, they're probably going to be closer to what I had before. Actually, no, it didn't change much. But that's okay. Because these are the closest match superchargers. I mean, the next one on the list here would be the M62. But since the M45 can do what I need it to do, the MP45 is going to be able to deliver up to 240 horsepower. And that's fine for your first stage of boost. And then your turbocharger is going to be able to deliver the rest of the flow. And that'll get you the twin charge combination. Because the uh, M45 is going to be breathing in air that's already compressed from the turbocharger, then it doesn't need to flow the full amount, 320 horsepower. And that's what you see here. You see all our superchargers are flowing between 200 and 260 horsepower, whereas all the turbos on the list reach our final power goal. This is because the flow levels of the superchargers are rated, like I said before, at ambient air pressure. Whereas what's actually going to happen in this setup is that the air is already going to be compressed by the turbocharger, so you're going to use a smaller supercharger and still get the same flow levels. All right. So uh, I hope this was informational for you, and I hope you got to see how the new version of the power calculator can simplify all these equations and simplify all these calculations for you. It's going to give you your uh, turbocharger, your intercooler dimensions. It's going to give you your supercharger. It's going to give you your boost level. It's going to give you your uh, recommended static compression ratio. It's also going to give you all your fueling for your power goal, your intake and exhaust, everything. It's just going to do it in no time, literally. This is totally a time saver. It's ridiculous, actually. Uh, thanks for listening to our talk about twin chargers. And thanks for uh, following us on superchargerperformance.com.